Deep within the ocean, far beyond the reach of sunlight, lies a place where the pressure is an unimaginable 1,000 times greater than what we experience on the surface. This crushing force is so intense that it could obliterate an unprotected human in an instant, turning them into little more than a smear of organic matter, almost like dust or mud. It's in these extreme conditions that explorers venture into the depths of the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the world's oceans. To survive here, they require state-of-the-art equipment and meticulous preparation. The trench is an abyssal scar in the Earth's crust, stretching as wide as 20 national malls in Washington, D.C., and reaching depths that are about one-fifth of Earth's entire diameter. For those brave enough to descend to its bottom, the experience is surreal. These adventurers describe it as eerily quiet, cold, and hauntingly peaceful. Despite the darkness, they've reported seeing colorful landscapes, vivid red and yellow rocky outcrops, alongside strange, translucent creatures. Life down here has adapted in ways we can barely comprehend. While it's often said that more people have visited the moon than the Mariana Trench, this myth isn't quite accurate. A total of 24 humans have flown to the moon, while at least 27 explorers have made the descent into the trench's crushing depths. Interestingly, many of these explorers weren't scientists in the traditional sense. They were thrill-seekers, capturing videos of the trench's unique wildlife, geological formations, and even human-made objects littering the ocean floor. The journey to the Mariana Trench began around the same time as humanity's push into outer space. In 1969, astronauts took their first steps on the moon. Nine years earlier, in 1960, ocean explorers had already reached Challenger Deep, the deepest known point on Earth. The trench got its name from the HMS Challenger, a British ship that first detected this immense underwater chasm in the 19th century. However, it took until 1960 for a manned mission to finally descend into its depths. Swiss oceanographer Auguste Picard designed a submersible called a Bathyscape in 1953, and just seven years later, it achieved the impossible, plummeting nearly 36,000 feet to the ocean's floor. This incredible feat, however, only revealed a tiny fraction of the trench's true size and complexity. The sheer vastness of the Mariana Trench is one of the main reasons why it remains largely unexplored. But size isn't the only factor, the total absence of light compounds the challenge. Sunlight cannot penetrate these depths, leaving the entire trench shrouded in perpetual darkness. The environment at these depths is nothing like the warmer, well-lit waters closer to the surface. The trench's ecosystem is unique and profoundly different, forcing marine life to evolve under extreme conditions. One of the most significant challenges to survival in the trench is the near-freezing temperatures. While water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature at the trench's bottom stays just above freezing due to a combination of factors. The salt content of seawater lowers its freezing point, and geothermal energy from the ocean floor generates enough heat to keep the water liquid, just barely. This is why submersibles that venture down must have advanced insulation to survive these icy waters. Despite these inhospitable conditions, life manages to thrive in the Mariana Trench. Explorers have encountered arrowtooth eels, snailfish, spoonworms, and various strange, translucent creatures. Shrimp-like amphipods scuttle along the seafloor, while microbial mats feed on methane and hydrogen seeping from the ocean floor's mud. One of the most remarkable inhabitants is the Mariana snailfish. Despite its fragile appearance, this species has adapted to survive the immense pressure, allowing it to dive deeper into the trench to hunt than many of its competitors. The deep sea also gives rise to a phenomenon known as deep sea gigantism, where creatures grow far larger than their shallow water counterparts. For example, the giant tube worm can reach an astounding six feet in length, though scientists still debate the exact cause of this gigantism. Some suspect thermal vents may play a role, but much remains unknown about life at these depths. The slow pace of exploration in the Mariana Trench highlights just how difficult it is to access this mysterious realm. After the historic 1960 dive, it wasn't until 2012, over half a century later, that another human ventured to Challenger Deep. This time, it was renowned Canadian filmmaker James Cameron, who made the descent in a specially designed submersible called the Deep Sea Challenger. Few scientists have been able to follow in Cameron's footsteps, and as a result, we still don't have a detailed map of the trench's depths. This is reflective of a broader issue with ocean exploration. Although the world's oceans cover two-thirds of the Earth's surface, only 5% of them have been mapped. 
The Mariana Trench is just one of many underwater mysteries waiting to be fully understood. Beyond the trench, there are other places on Earth that remain enigmatic and unexplored. One such region is the Amazon rainforest, often referred to as the lungs of the planet, due to its dense, oxygen-producing foliage. This vast jungle is one of the most impenetrable places on Earth. Dangerous wildlife, including jaguars, anacondas, piranhas, and venomous spiders, pose a constant threat to would-be explorers. In addition, torrential rainfall floods the landscape year-round, and treacherous river currents make navigation hazardous. In some remote areas of the Amazon, there are indigenous tribes that have never had contact with the outside world. Near the Brazil-Peru border, for instance, at least 14 isolated tribes still exist, and authorities are committed to preserving their isolation for their safety. Similarly, North Sentinel Island in the Indian Ocean remains shrouded in mystery. This remote island, part of the Andaman chain, is home to one of the last uncontacted tribes on Earth, the Sentinelese. After the devastating 2004 tsunami, helicopters flew over the island to assess the damage and ensure the islanders had survived. In response, the Sentinelese defended their land, aiming bows and arrows at the helicopters. The Indian government has prohibited any visits to the island, both to protect the Sentinelese and for the safety of outsiders. It is believed that the tribe has remained isolated for thousands of years, and their population estimates range from as few as 15 to as many as 500. Despite being related to other Andamanese tribes, their language remains incomprehensible to their neighbors, further shrouding their culture in mystery. Antarctica, the coldest and most desolate continent, also remains largely unexplored. Roughly the size of the United States and Mexico combined, Antarctica has no permanent human population. Instead, it is home only to temporary research stations operated by international scientists. While satellite imagery and aerial photography have mapped the continent's icy surface, there are still vast regions where no human has ever set foot. This isn't surprising, given that Antarctica is not only the coldest continent but also the windiest, driest, and brightest. Its ice sheets, which can be up to three miles thick in places, make this frozen land almost entirely uninhabitable. Even in the Himalayas, there are places that remain untouched by human hands. Gongkar Puensam, Bhutan's highest peak, is the world's tallest unclimbed mountain. The local population considers the mountain sacred, and out of respect for their spiritual beliefs, the Bhutanese government restricted and eventually banned all attempts to climb it in the early 21st century. To this day, no one has reached its summit, making it one of the last truly unexplored places on Earth. From the Mariana Trench to the Amazon rainforest, from North Sentinel Island to the icy wilderness of Antarctica, our planet still holds many secrets. Despite our technological advancements, vast areas of Earth remain unexplored, waiting for the next generation of adventurers and scientists to uncover their mysteries. The more we learn, the more we realize how little we truly know about the hidden one.